Okay, so if you've ever found yourself in a situation where your Unreal Engine project is running weird, so it's running very slow, a lot slower than normal, maybe the menus aren't working correctly, uh, things are very laggy when you click on them, uh, etc. So basically your engine's running weird. This is going to be a simple and effective trick on how to essentially reset your engine to solve a lot of these issues and make it run a lot better. So step number one is going to be close down your current project. Then you want to navigate to wherever that project is installed. So in my case, I have it in my documents under Unreal Projects, and I'm working on my Blueprint Asset Validation Project. So to start out, what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of the temporary files. So temporary files are files that aren't actually uh, needed. Well, they're needed, but they're temporary. So these are files that can be regenerated by the engine. And if you delete them, it's not going to do any permanent harm. That's essentially what they are. Uh, so I'm going to show you what files those are right now and what we're going to do. So to start out, the files that are temporary that we can delete are going to be .vs code. This could be .vs instead of .vs code if you're not using Visual Studio code. You want to delete your binaries. Uh, your binaries are going to be your built binaries for your project. So if you have a code project, you'll see these. If you have a blueprint project, you won't. And you will need to rebuild your project if you delete these. Your derived data cache, your derived data cache, your intermediates, and your saved. So derived data cache, that just stores your references for .u asset files. Intermediate is going to be just all of your temporary files that get created by the engine as it uh, does processes. And your save files is going to be all of your logs and things like that, uh, output logs and so on. One thing to note, your saved file is going to contain any screenshots you've taken because that's where they go by default. So if you've taken any screenshots that you want to preserve, make sure to move those out before doing this. The other files we can delete is the .ignore file if you have one. This gets generated by Visual Studio Code. So if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you may not see this and our code workspace. And once again, this is a Visual Studio Code specific. If you're running traditional Visual Studio, uh, you're gonna see a .sln here instead. And if you're running a Blueprint project, you won't see these. So we, these are all the files we can safely delete. The ones we don't wanna delete are the ones we haven't selected. So your config, your content, your source, and your .u project. These are all ones where if you delete them, you're gonna run into problems. So your config, that's all of your uh, configuration files for your projects. So that's gonna be all of your project settings. Uh, your content, which is gonna be all of your blueprints, static meshes, skeletal meshes, animations, textures, etc. Your source, which is gonna be all your C++ files. So if you don't have a C++ project, you won't see source. And your actual .u project file. Uh, there are some other files you could have that aren't shown here. Um, in general, I would just keep all of those if you see them uh, and just not worry about them because these are the main temporary files that almost every project will have and there's not too many outside of this. So we can go ahead and safely delete these. And then from here, if you just have a blueprint project, you can just go ahead and open up your .u project file. It'll regenerate those temp files and just open normally. If you have a code project, you're gonna wanna generate your Visual Studio project files first. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna regenerate the Visual Studio files. And then after that, you can open up that .u project and it should generate any remaining ones and open. If it doesn't, it may give you a warning that you have to rebuild from source, in which case you just have to open up the project from your IDE and rebuild it that way and everything should work just fine. The only other thing to note here is that when you relaunch your engine, if it was connected to source control, you will have to reconnect it. So that is something to keep in mind. And with that, yeah, that's about it. Um, I really wanted to showcase this because this is one of the most viewed things on our internal wiki. Um, I actually had to go around and do this to so many developers' computers just because they would get weird issues and this would fix them to where I ended up making a document on how to do this and putting it on our internal wiki. And it's one of our most viewed wiki pages. So it shows you just how often this comes up if you're using the engine heavily. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked it and you found it helpful, go ahead and give me a like. Uh, if you want to see future videos like this, I'm tr uh, starting to upload more and more. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see future videos. And with that, uh, have a nice day.